So here we have our pastry block. I've it reduced down to 12 mil. And this is just the red croissant dough that I'm going to put on top. So I'm just going to roll that out by hand so that it fits over the, the square. So I'm just going to roll it out. And just use this ice hockey puck technique again. Make sure it's not sticking. And I'm just going to roll it by hand. I can do this on a machine, but I just want to do it by hand to explain it. So if you notice, I rotate it 90 degrees every time I move it. That's just important because the, um, the dough is quite elastic and it needs to be stretched in both directions. You can see it's not really stuck to the table, which is what we want it to be. So we get it to close enough to the size that we want and the rest then we can stretch it into place. So it's pretty good, it's pretty close now. I'm just going to center that, so I'm going to put it more or less in the center and then I'm just going to gently stretch it out to the edge. So you don't really want a large overhang of this red dough or chocolate dough if you're making chocolate dough. You just want it out nice and neat to the edge. And once you have it in place then, using your rolling pin, just flatten it down, just make sure that it's anchored. Get rid of any air bubbles that might be in the pastry. It's perfect and you end up with just a nice thin layer on the top. up now nice and fine and these are going to go into the cube croissant so I'm going to start at the top just nice and gentle I want to get a nice tight roll so I get a nice even pattern so if you look I'm moving left to right right to left and I'm just pushing in the ends there because I want to keep it nice and even uh, just move it up into camera view there a little bit more so you can see it's quite tight. There we go. Wonderful. So I've got this beautiful red and white dough. I'm just going to trim the ends now so you can see. The extent of the pattern should be really nice. See it there, all the way through. 